I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. We greet you in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. I want to welcome you to taking the word to the world. I am Pastor Jared J. Thomas, along with First Lady, the Reverend Luella H. Thomas, of the Elm Grove Baptist Church in Meridian, Georgia. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you, church family, to this worship and teaching experience. Also, I want to take the time to welcome all of our Facebook viewers. We ask that you like and share. And also to our YouTube subscribers, we thank God for you, and we want to thank the Lord for all of our viewers all over the nation, internationally, nationally, regionally, and locally. We want to thank God for your support, for your prayers, and we pray that God will richly bless you. So now, if you would, let us go before God's rich throne of grace. Abba, Father, it is in the matchless name of Jesus. We come now, Father, with thanksgiving. We come with praise. We ask now that you would open up the understanding of our viewing audience. Allow the words of my mouth and the meditations of mine heart to be acceptable in thine sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, Holy Spirit, we welcome you to come in and breathe afresh upon us. Renew our strength and give us the determination to go on in the matchless name of Jesus. Send the anointing that makes preaching and teaching easy, for it is all in the matchless name of Jesus that we pray, and everybody said amen. 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 And amen. amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of prayer. Come on, Cyber Nation. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise out there. Because God has been and yet is real good to us. So if you would now, I want to continue on this journey. We're going to be teaching and beginning the series of Passover to Pentecost. And what I want to do here is truly present the works of of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that will keep us, strengthen us, and heal us through these times and seasons. What I want you to do, my brothers and sisters, to experience and explore the power and the presence of Almighty God, the Holy Spirit, and the salvation that Jesus Christ has wrought for us. Brothers and sisters, we all know the times that we are living in are perilous. Amen. But you must know beyond a reasonable doubt that God is yet on the throne, that he sits high and he looks low and he has all power in his hand. And sometimes we think that things might run awry or muck, but God is in control. Amen. God has been in control from the very beginning, and he shall be in control in the end time, such as is now. On our journey, we went through Easter and, we, and the crucifixion, and we saw where Jesus Christ paid it all out on Calvary. When he was hung high and stretched wide, when he hung his head in the locks of his shoulder and he died. But I come to tell you the good news is, is that early on the third day morning, Jesus Christ defeated death and the grave. And he has all power in his hand. And God is going to give us the power to walk through these perilous times. And whatever burdens we might be carrying or sharing, God tonight is going to give us a way to release 
our heavy loads that we are carrying. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to shake this load tonight. I'm going to shake this load tonight. I want to, if you would, read with me from Acts, from the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Chapter number one and verse number eight will be our theme scripture, if you would. And I want to just say right here that God has a manifestation of his power and his miracles are here right now. Now, I'm not just bumping my gums and talking to you vicariously. This is the truth of the matter. God has released and is releasing the power, the miracle working power of the Holy Ghost in all of our lives. Yes, God is our burden bearer, our way maker, and our heart fixer. How is that, Pastor? He said it was incumbent upon him that he must leave and go away. But he would not leave us comfortless. He told us, I will leave the Holy Spirit that will keep you and lead you into all truth. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise and say, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Acts of the Apostles chapter number one and verse number eight will read like this but you tell your neighbor talking to you now but you shall receive power what kind of power dunamis power power to break up the onslaught of the enemy satan because satan is yet out to kill to steal and to destroy. Amen. Never underestimate him. Mm -hmm. But know this one thing. That God is supreme. Yeah. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise. Yeah. Look what he says here now. But you shall receive power. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Pastor. How does the Holy Spirit come? Well my brother and my sister. Upon you receiving Jesus Christ and the redemptive work that he wrought out on Calvary. Mm -hmm. How he was whipped. How he was marred beyond vision. Yes. How he was spat upon and lied upon. Yes, Jesus was paying it all out there. How they stripped him of his clothing yes. and yes. how they rammed the spear yes. up his side and how he died for you. He paid the price for every sin that you would ever commit. Come on and help me somebody. And upon you accepting the redemptive work that he wrote out on Calvary, you set yourself up to receive the Holy Spirit. Yes. Now the Holy Spirit is the keeper yes. that will keep you when you get in trouble and yes. you can't see your way out. Amen. All you got to do, Amen. brothers and sisters, Amen. is stir up the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Call on the Lord to release his Holy Spirit in your life. Come on and help me somebody. Amen. And as the Holy Spirit comes in and a abides in this earthen vessel, uh -huh. the Holy Spirit will lead, guide, protect, uh -huh. and feed you. Amen. When you're in trouble, when you're down and out, when you're weighted down with the woes and the toes of the world, he is your burden bearer. Yeah. Let's go on and read what he say in the B part of that eighth verse. It reads, and you shall upon you receiving the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. It's too good to keep to yourself. Amen. Tell your neighbor, Amen. you got to tell somebody about it. Amen. If you know you've been saved and you know that you're born again, then the Holy Spirit indwells in this earthen tabernacle. Have, have, have you ever seen where you know you were doing some things out of order or you did something that the Holy Spirit began to convict? you about it. You, you thought it was your conscience, uh -huh. but when you got saved, uh -huh. it was the Holy Ghost yeah. that will convict 
you and condemn you when you know you've been doing wrong. But also when you're broken hearted and when you're down and out and you don't feel like nobody's on your side. Nobody's listening to you. You can't make it for faking. Y'all ain't talking to me. The Holy Ghost will rise up in you and speak and he will guide. Let's look what it says here now. And you shall be witnesses to who? To me. Mm -hmm. Jesus talking now. Jesus said, when you become saved and you become spirit filled, mm -hmm. you become a witness to me. Yeah. You tell somebody, God has been good to me. Yeah. How many of you told somebody yeah. today how yeah. good God has yeah. been to you? Yeah. How God brought you through yeah. dangers seen and unseen. Yeah. How dangers and tars and yeah. snails set out to destroy you. Yeah. But was on your side. Tell your neighbor what I'm going through right now might be tough, but God is still on my side. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise just for God being on your side. Look what it says here. And you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem, talking to those who were sitting there now. Amen. And in all of Judea and Samaria and to the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, what he's saying is start out in your own house first Amen. before you try to get everybody else saved. Amen. Let's work on the people in your house. Amen. Tell them about his amazing grace, Amen. his tender mercies, his love that looks beyond fault. Y'all ain't talking to me. How he's able to provide for you. He is your provisionary God. He's your keeper when your head hung down. He's your eye washer when the tears are running. So now that we see that we are moving into the season of Pentecost. We have a few more weeks to go. Amen. Because Pentecost actually ends May 18th at sundown. But the traditional Pentecost that we're going to celebrate will be the fourth Sunday in May. Help me, Holy Ghost. Five days after the Jewish. Because we're going to use the five days of grace. And on the calendar, we will celebrate the fire of the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost brings fire and fire brings judgment and judgment you'll be purified you're going to be cleansed you're going to be fixed help me Holy Ghost I guarantee you if you stick through this teaching you're going to be stronger you're going to be wiser you're going to be better than you ever been before come on out there Lake City Georgia come on and give the Lord a hand to pray come out from to Georgia give the Lord a hand of praise. Come on, Meridian, Georgia. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Come on, heal your Florida. Let's stand up on our feet and give God some glory for bringing us through. Yes, hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Look at here, brothers and sisters. As we were talking, it is perilous times. But God is leading us now to a renewed season of power. Yes. Huh? Don't you know the times that we're living in, they're not going to be like they were five years ago, three years ago. God has a manifestation of his power and his glory that's going to just overshadow this entire earth just as COVID-19 rocked the world. Y'all ain't talking to me. God will never allow Satan to do more than he did. Oh yes, COVID-19 was satanically inspired. God allowed it to happen, but I guarantee you one thing. God is in control. And whatever we lost, God is saying, we're going to gain double for our trouble. Whatever you've been through, God said, I'm going to bring you better. Whatever your heart been in, Aching. God said, I'm going to heal your aching heart. Look what he says here in Psalm 34 and 18. God was speaking, amen. And I think he said over there, amen, that he, amen, will heal the broken hearted. And those who have a broken and contrite spirit, God said, I'll strengthen you. Didn't he say it? 
Amen. 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 God wants you to know the load that we took on during this last year, amen, amen has been phenomenal. Yes. It has been something else. Yes. It has knocked some of us down. Yes. Some of us don't, can't even remember where we've been or what we've been doing. Yes. Some of us have lost jobs. Yes. Some of us have lost husbands yes. and wives. Yes. Some of us have even lost our mind. Yes. But I come to tell you today, yes. the restorer, yes. the keeper, is going to rise up now and show you his power. Tell your neighbor, I dare him to show me his power. Look at him, my friends and my brethren. God says, amen, as he leads us to our time of renewed strength, we're going to be able to mount up on wings of an eagle. We're going to be able to run again. And don't get tired or weary. Uh -huh. yeah. We're going to keep walking with the Lord. Yeah. Till the Lord say well, well done. done. Thou good. Yeah. And thou faithful servant. Yeah. Look at him. Satan released his demonic powers. All through the earth realm. Uh -huh. In these last. Amen. 16 months. Yeah. Murder rate. Yeah. Has went astronomically. Amen. amen. It, it, now it's yeah. everywhere. Small cities. Large cities. Yeah. It's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. The spit, that old demon of murder, yeah. of rebellion. Yeah. People don't want to act yeah. right in leadership position. Yeah. They rebel and the, and division has yeah. come. And how many of you know that a house divided yeah. will not and yeah. cannot stand? Yeah. He has he has put all his satanic yeah. powers to work. Yeah. He's been working on us yeah. over time. Trying to destroy our families, yeah. trying to de destroy our careers, yeah. destroying our ministry. Yeah. Churches are shut down. Yeah. People have forgot how to pray. People have yeah. forgotten to study the word. Yeah. People have forgotten to put the word into action yeah. because we are concentrating uh -huh. on what Satan has yeah. done for yeah. us yeah. and to us. Yeah. But I come to tell you yeah. on this August occasion, yeah. it's time for a turnaround. Yeah. Tell your neighbor it's a turnaround time. It's a turnaround time. I was weak, but now I'm strong. Yeah. Look at here. God going to bring you through. Just hunt your neighbor and tell, type that in. God going to bring you through right now. Type it in. God is going to bring you through. How do you know that, Pastor? Well, if you would, look in the gospel according to St. Matthew, the 11th chapter, verses 28, 29, and 30. The Lord has made a pattern for us to be able to shake anything mm -hmm. that the enemy has placed upon Amen. us. Tell your neighbor, he's still my keeper. He's still my, keeper. He's still my guide. He's still my and he's still my burden bearer. My Let's look at Matthew, the gospel according to St. Matthew, uh -huh. the 11th chapter. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the 28th verse, uh -huh. if we would. Look what Jesus said. Uh -huh. Come to me. Anyone out there tonight that's not saved, I want to give you this invitation. If you're looking at this and it was by happenstance that you just happened to turn and you found us on your live stream, I want to introduce the Savior of the world to you tonight. And whatever you might be going, oh yes, you were about to commit suicide. But I rebuke that suicide yes. demon tonight yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. And I apply the blood. Yes. You take your hands off the mind of that individual. Yes. Those. Yes. God is going to set you free tonight. Yes. Look what he says here now. He says in Matthew the 11th chapter uh -huh. and verse number 28. Uh -huh. Come to me. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm not rich enough. I don't have enough education. I'm the wrong color. I'm of the wrong stuff. He said, no, I didn't say that. Right. He said, come to me. Mm -hmm. That's Jesus speaking. Look what he said. All you, all you means all. It's a lot of y'all going through out there. I, I, I don't have the time to, to articulate it and, and to break it down, but there are areas in our lives that we are burdened down. Oh we are so burdened that the burden has overtaken us. Mm -hmm. But God sent me tonight, yes. amen, on this august occasion mm -hmm. to let you know that God has set you free. Hallelujah. Look what he 
says here now. Look what he says here now. He says, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. This load is just too much for me. I got too much on me. I'm trying to handle too much. Pastors, I'm talking to you tonight. I know you're about to lose your mind on how you're going to make your budget. And when the church ought to be come back to full capacity. And can you make your payroll and, and all that. You, you're heavy load. And see, what people don't understand about your pastor is you got a wife and children and, and a home. And, and you're burdened. You, you got problems in your family. You got problems all around. Y'all ain't talking to me out there. And, amen. But God said tonight, I know you're burdened down and I know that weeping shall endure for the night. But your joy is coming right now. Tell your neighbor, I'm signing up for joy tonight. Type it in. I'm signing up for joy tonight. Look, look what he says here now. Amen. You who are heavy laden, look what he say. And I, if you come to me, no matter what the situation or the circumstance is, come to me. Go in your secret closet mm -hmm. and talk to the Lord. Get on your face. Get on your knees. Lay on your back. However you can get to God, yes. talk to him. Yes. Come to me, he uh -huh. says. Mm -hmm. and, and I will. I want you to experience yes. the presence yes. and the power of God. Yes. God told me, he said, a lot of people don't, don't have visitation for me in the spirit realm because they don't invite me. You got to ask me for what you want. Oh yeah, I know what you want but I want you to ask me and when you ask me I'll never let you down. I will talk to you. I'll walk to you. I'll hug you in the midnight hour. I'll be there for you. Look what he says here now. Amen. And, 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 and I'll look what he say now. And I will give you rest, yes. Yes. release, release. Relief, relief from the burden that you're carrying. You know, burdens are spirit things. They, they start out with physicality and whatnot, but then it moves into the spirit realm because it gets into your head. And your head sometimes will overrule the spirit that's in you. I come to tell you, stop allowing your head to overrule the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh that's on the inside of you. The Holy Spirit will strengthen you. The Holy Spirit, I, I know your burden, brother. I know you're lonely. I know you're dealing with anxiety. I, I, I know you're going through some things. You're even angry at God. But tonight, God sent me with a handwritten letter amen. to let you know, amen, amen that the amen. devil yeah. has no power yeah. over you amen. because your blood bought, you've been yeah. redeemed. Yeah. You are a child yeah. of the living God. Yeah. And God yeah. say, I'll never leave you, yeah. nor forsake you. Yeah. I'll be with you. It may not look like I'm with you, yeah. but I'm with you. Amen, Pastor. Dr. Oh, look what yeah. verse number 29 says. God want to deliver you from your struggles, Britain. And I know some of us, when the load gets so heavy, amen, it, it gets beyond our capacity mm -hmm. to carry it. Mm -hmm. I was looking at some signs the other day, amen, and they had the weight limits, amen, to go across the certain bridge. They said two tons. Now, look at this, this analogy. If another truck would have came over this bridge wearing six tons, the bridge could have crumbled. It could have crumbled. Mm. So it is with your mind and your body. Mm. You are built mm. to carry so mm. much. That's Tell right. your neighbor, that's why we have God. That's because right. you are not built yeah. to carry yeah. everything yeah. on your own. Yeah. No matter how strong you are. And different folk mm. have different capacities right. to carry mm. heavy load burdens. Y'all yeah. going to talk to yeah. me? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Now, I, I, Watch the boys lifting weights. Now, you, you might, your capacity, you might tap out at 250. Mm -hmm. Now, if you fool around and put 50 more pounds on it, uh -huh. and it goes up to 300, uh -huh. and you try to lift it, you 
may lift it, uh -huh. but you're going to struggle. Y'all yeah. going to hear me? Amen. Amen. So it is in the Amen. spirit realm. When you're carrying a heavy load, it has you struggling. Yeah. It has you wobbling. Yeah. It has you, sometimes you'll even lose your mind. Yeah. But I come to tell you tonight, greater is he yeah. that is on the inside of you than anything yeah. in the world. Anything the devil yeah. offers, yeah. God got better. Yeah. Yes, he does. Can Hallelujah. I preach? Go ahead on, Pastor. Let's preach. look at it here. Yeah. Now, now, look what verse number 29, and we're going to hasten. Verse number 29, say, look at here. Mm. Take my yoke. My now, not the pastors. Uh -huh. See, the yoke is the teaching and the way. It carries the burden. Mm. You hear me? Uh -huh. When they would put the oxen and they would yoke them together, amen, they would put the yokes on their neck. Uh -huh. And the, the neck part of it would support the wagon that is carrying the heavy load. Right. Amen. amen. So, so look what Jesus tell them here. He says, amen, take my yoke now, I, 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 I'm going to put my strength on you, yes. the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm going to put my yoke on you. Yes. I'm going to put my teaching yes. on you. I'm going to put my way on uh -huh. you. I'm going to put my truth on you. Yes. But when I put my truth on uh -huh. you, you'll be able to dispel yes. anything yes. that the enemy might come. Yes. Oh, yes, you're going to have some tough seasons. Yes. You're going to have some times when you cry in the midnight hour. You're going to have some times. Yeah. when you feel all alone yeah. you're going to have some times yeah. when you don't have a friend yeah. but I come to tell you tonight yeah. that there's a friend yeah. that's sticking closer than a brother yeah. there's a friend yeah. that'll be with you yeah. until the end come on and preach Thomas come on tonight yeah. look what he says here now mm -hmm. amen take my yoke my way my teaching uh -huh. upon you and do what learn of me uh -huh. Get in the word. Get back in the word, preachers. Get back in the word, saints. Get back in the word. If you're a sinner, get your Bible and begin to read it. Because there is life in the word of God. There's power in the word of God. There's deliverance in the word of God. There is joy unspeakable in the word of God. Don't you know if God never comes for me, if God never blesses me, I will serve him until I die. If he never answer another prayer, he's already done enough for me. And I'm grateful. Look what he says here now as I prepare the clothes. Yes. Amen. When you learn of me, look what Jesus said. For I am gentle. Mm -hmm. Nothing nasty or cold-blooded about you. He's gentle, but he's strong. He has power. Mm -hmm. He's gentle and lowly in heart. Mm. He's not proud. He's humble. That's why you can talk to him. Mm -hmm. He's not so arrogant. Are so high minded. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That you can't come to him. Mm -hmm. You know how you can come to him? In the name of Jesus. Yes. When you come in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Knees begin to bow. Y'all yes. hear me? Yes. Heaven began to open up. And joy unspeakable begins to happen. Amen. How many of you want to serve this kind of God we got? Amen. Look what he says here now. I, 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 I'm lowly in heart. And look what he says here. And you will find rest yes. for your soul mm. when you come to me. I'll be your safe haven. I'll be your refuge. I'll be that place where the enemy can't break through to trouble you and destroy you. Mm. Tell your neighbor, Holy Ghost time now. We walk into it. We walk into it. See, every saint, every believer has this right Amen. This inalienable right that Jesus promised you he would take care of you. Somebody used to say, Jesus promised me. Didn't he promise you? It may not work out all the time like we see it, but I guarantee you, God got it. Just hold on and keep the faith. Be undeniable. Walk in the truth of the word and watch what God does. I'll I, I bet if I was a betting man, I would bet on God what 
every time. Yeah. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about yeah. out there. You know you're a betting person. Yeah. You know you're still playing it. Help oh, me, Holy Ghost. Yeah. The lottery about 10 million and I help me, Jesus. Uh -huh. That's a sidebar. Look, look what it says here now. How, how many of you have ever been broken? Mm. I'm closing. I've been broken. Mm. But the one thing I found that when God breaks me, he makes me pliable in his hand. Mm -hmm. And God never does anything to hurt you. That's right. God does it, allows it to make you better. Amen. What the enemy meant for harm, right. God mm -hmm. would turn it oh, yeah. into good. Amen. I want you to know that. That, that, that. There's a long list. Mm -hmm. Amen. If I would call the roll tonight, yes. there is a long list. You could start You could start with Abram. Yes. Amen. You uh -huh. go on through Jacob and Joseph. You go all through Moses and yes. Elijah, yes. Peter, James, and John. You could go through them all. Yes. Gerald, J. Thomas, yes. Luella, H. Thomas. You through the whole number, yes. Joe Calhoun, yes. you, Johnny Earl Green, you go through all the one yes. thing you will know, God yes. will never leave you. Amen. All of us have Amen. been through some trying times yes. where we almost felt like throwing in the towel, yes. but the load got so heavy, yes. it will sometimes seem yes. unbearable, yes. but God, God was always there. Amen. Closing, yes, for my yoke is yes. easy yes, and my burden is light. God say, I'll, I'm going to help you lighten your load tonight. Yes, I, I, I'm going to let you throw some of this dead weight you've yes, been carrying. Get it off you. Get Tell your neighbor, let's, it's time to clear it out now. Clear, out. clear out your locker. Yes. It's time to clear out your locker, yes. players, because yes. God yes. is moving you to another position. Yes. Tell your neighbor, I'm on my way right now. I'm on my way. Right. On my way. On you know, way. life can seemingly get like it's just full of burdens. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Trials and tribulation. Every time you look up, it's something happening. Mm -hmm. But when you know your load limit, yes. you know it's just so much I can bear. That's right. I don't have to cast my cares, yes. as it states in 1 Peter mm -hmm. 5 and 7. Mm -hmm. I have to cast all, all my anxieties. Yes. All my words. Mm -hmm. How do you do that, Pastor? Give it to him. Yeah. When they come at you, yeah. give it to Jesus. Say, Jesus, take this from me. Yeah. Holy Spirit, move this. Or sometimes I want to go through a trying time. Mm -hmm. Amen. If God, if it, God has allowed it, I'll go through it. Why? Because I know through all of this, mm -hmm. God has a blessing yes. in store for me. Amen. I know it. Amen. See, God will never put more on you mm -hmm. than you can bear. Amen. Because why do you say that, Pastor? Because God, amen, is a big God. Yes, he is. Tell your neighbor, God, God is, a God. is a big God. Literally and figuratively, he's so big that they go on to say that the earth mm -hmm. is his footstool. Uh -huh. If it were literally now, you, you know, the earth, your, your universe, your entire, is his footstool. Mm -hmm. God is so awesome. We talk about our problems, how they are insurmountable and they are always coming at us. But stop illuminating your problems yes. and let's illuminate God, God some. Yes. Let, 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 let's make him, he's bigger yes. than any yes. problem that you could ever Amen. face. Amen. And he's a God that has every solution yes. to yes. what you're going through. Amen. Why not ask him? Amen. Why not try? Yes. Yes. Why not give yourself over to him oh, yes. and say, God, here I am. Yes. And here's my problem. Yes. Here's my dilemma. Yes. Here's my circumstance. Uh -huh. I I'm going to stop dwelling on my circumstance uh -huh. when I take it to you. I'm going to stop dwelling on it because if I took it to you, yeah. I'm entrusting yeah. it to you for you to handle yeah. it. And I know you can. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, I got great expectation. Got great. Just like the prayer cloth. You can have a prayer cloth all you want to, yeah. but if you don't have the faith in God that this is a point of contact, yeah. that God going to work through it, That's you will right. never get to it. Yeah. But I come to tell you, yeah. God got it 
it fixed for you. And if you walk with him and you put your hand in God's hand, God will lead you through the promised land. Good thing about God. God is the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. Closing now. Look what it says here. Now, brothers and sisters, by no means am I belittling what you might be going through. But remember, one thing, there is nothing too hard or too difficult for God. One thing I can know, he has already handled Amen. every burden, Amen. every situation Amen. that we're going in. So I want you tonight on this beautiful evening to just rededicate your faith in God. God can heal a sin sick body. God can heal a physical body. God can heal a worried soul. God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever ask or think. God is in control. Amen. Just as it's stated in 2 Corinthians, and I'm closing with this particular scripture, 2 Corinthians 4 and 7, it says, amen, but we have this treasure uh -huh. in earthen vessels. What is this treasure? This treasure mm -hmm. is the gift of the Holy Spirit amen. that indwells amen. in this earthen yes. Vessel, this house, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit resides here. Mm -hmm. Now, when this house, this earthen vessel, desists from life, mm -hmm. the spirit, the treasure mm -hmm. that is in this vessel instantly is ushered into the presence of God mm -hmm. for joy and unspeakable yeah. joy. Mm -hmm. Look what it says here, Second Corinthians 4 and 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, so that the surpassing greatness of the power will be of God and not from ourselves. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you can't do it all by yourself. You, 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 you got to have somebody, mm -hmm. and that's God yeah. walking with you. Mm -hmm. Jesus knew you couldn't do it by yourself. That's, right. that's why he came down yes. through 40 and two generations, uh -huh. born of a virgin. Yeah. Yes, he did, didn't he? Uh, yes. Jesus came, amen, that you might be able uh -huh. to shake that heavy burden. Yes. He made the way for you. Oh, yes. All you have to do is talk to talk him. To him. Talk to him. Yes. Ask him, yes. and he'll lead you. Yes. I, that's why I say President Joe Biden, talk to the Lord. Yes. Benjamin Netanyahu, talk to the Lord. Amen. Vladimir Putin, you need to talk to God. Amen. Because you as world leaders uh -huh. on the scene, yes. you need to be talking Amen. to God because yes. God works. And if you keep your eyes on Jerusalem, yes. you will see uh -huh. what's going to be happening yes. in this world. Amen. God is the burden bearer. Yes. God is the fixer yes. of everything. everything. Every good and perfect gift uh -huh. comes from above. Uh -huh. Just as he gave his only begotten son. And I want to go before I close. I just want to thank all of the prayer warriors that have been keeping prayer mm -hmm. going up in the Elm Grove Baptist Amen. Church. Amen. All you who are intercessors yeah. all over locally and, and, and statewide and regionally, you who have been praying yeah. for us, yeah. I want you to continue yeah. to lift us up and let pray yeah. for the nation Amen. that God will deliver the spirit off yes, of this nation yes. because this nation uh -huh. if it doesn't change yes. Satan uh -huh. will have control Amen, Pastor. I thought I say. so brothers and sisters I want to thank you all for standing tall I want to take this time to thank one person individually tonight because he caught me at my lowest time and he prayed brother Eric Lemon a man who was on his own hospital bed. And brothers, that's what I'm telling you. When you're going through, I found the key is to deliverance is that you help somebody, somebody else. Amen. Stop Amen. focusing on what you're going that's through. Right. 
and start helping somebody else. And I guarantee you, God will meet you at your point of need. Come on, let's give God a hand of prayer. Tell your neighbor, that's one step. We're going to shake the load. Get in the word. Read the word. The word will give you strength. The word will give you power. And the anointing of the Holy Ghost Amen. will reign Amen. upon you. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, if this message has been a blessing to you, we want you now to just listen to our plea. We plead with you tonight that if you are unsaved, I would like for you, and I know that anyone that's close to you would want you to give your life to Jesus Christ. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than you could ever ask or think. As my old mama used to say, try Jesus. Yes. He's, He's all right. right. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He, he'll, he'll be everything that you ever need. So, brothers and sisters, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, tonight, I've heard your word. I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. I know that you died for my sins and that you were resurrected on the third day with all power in your hand. Therefore, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Come on and give the Lord a hand to pray. Amen. Where you spend eternity means everything. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you that this earth is not your permanent home. We got a new home. Not made by hands, but internal in the heavens. So, if you would, I want you to be reminded, amen, to look on your screen and you can give the Lord his tithe. You can give your offering, any service that has ever been rendered. You need to get on that Facebook page, amen, press the button and press offering or see and give an offering to the Lord. You're not giving it to me, but tonight, the prayer request, you can send it to my cash app. Cat dollar sign, Reverend and Sister Thomas, and I can unequivocally tell you that with faith, nothing is impossible to God because God is able to do exceeding and abundantly more than you could ever ask or think. Let us now pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we thank you for the word of God. Lord God, we pray, place many illnesses on your altar tonight. All those who might be suffering from long-term COVID, yes. we ask for healing tonight. You, we ask for respiratory healing. There's some people with respiratory problems. Yes. We speak to it tonight. Yes. Some have back, hip, leg, ankle, yes. arm problems. Yes. Tonight, touch in the name of Jesus, rapid recovery. Yes. Some of us, amen, have all kinds of problems, blood cells and cancer, yes. blood cancer. Yes. We cancel your assignment yes. tonight, you yes. demon from hell. Yes. You have no right. Yes. Cancel in every form. Yes. We cancel you tonight in Jesus' name. And we apply the blood. Those who are suffering from mental and emotional yes. conditions, God, tonight, put your hand on our mind. Renew and strengthen us. Take every burden that we have been bearing as we cast it at your feet, God. Heal, deliver, and set free. We pray for the United States of America that you will save the lost. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem for you said we shall prosper that love thee. We pray for our families. We pray for our ministries. We pray for the government. We pray for the brokenhearted. We we pray tonight, God, that you will do and show yourself mighty. You, Bless now you, as only you can do. Yes, In Jesus' Thank matchless you, name we pray. You, and everybody said amen. 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 
and amen. amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, we are out of time, but not out of word. We look forward to seeing you live Sunday, amen, at 11 a.m. right here, same station, same place. May the Lord richly bless you, may he keep you, and may he forever smile upon you. So, if you go with God, God will go with you. If, if you stay with God, God will stay with you. God bless you, and we will see you soon.